First of all, uh, I would like to ask for your permission to use this video for educational purpose and on internet. Are you okay with that? Yes, I am, except I knocked my tooth out on one of the... Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. It, it was none of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were in the surgery yesterday. Yes, Can you yes. just describe the surgery a little for us? How did it go and how it was? Yeah, overall it went very well. Um, I was pretty impressed. It was just in about uh, a little bit more than one hour. It was one hour and one minute or one yeah, hour and for, few minutes. For two levels. Uh, yeah, for two levels. L5, L5, S1 with this thesis at the level F, uh, L5, S1. And that was a grade one bordering grade two actually, this thesis in the yes. L5, S1, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Now, um, and the surgery just was yesterday. May I ask you, um, you had some pain in the legs before the surgery, correct? Yes. How yeah. is that pain in the legs right now? I don't have pain in my leg. Okay, overall, how bad is your pain? You said your pain, very Not little. That much. Okay, and you walked already? D up and down the hall. With Excellent. The how long before the surgery did you have p this kind of pain? At least five years. Okay, and we did everything else, nothing really was helping, and we decided we want to do surgery, correct? What about your walking distance? How far could you walk? Not very far. Mm. I could go grocery shopping. And by the time I just got started, my leg would start hurting so much. I'd hang on to the cart so I could... Mm, bending forward. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, well, and it, so I, it seems that it, the surgery really worked for you. Why didn't you get the surgery sooner? What, I mean, were you scared because of the I surgery? I was scared. Okay. It was like a miracle. <laughs> like, you know, how much pain do you take before you have to do yeah. something? Yeah. And you know, you're not the only person. Lots of people are in your situation, but doctors, surgeons, they are trained well to estimate risk versus benefit. And risk versus benefit in elderly sometimes is not in the favor of the surgeon. Doctors, uh, is there a time or age limit for a two level fusion? Or is it no, a. It's an individual question. So, um, age wise, I think for two levels, we would not go above 70. Mm -hmm. Um, so she wouldn't qualify for that kind of surgery no, because she's, levels, no. yeah, no. maybe uh, <laughs> one level. One level. Okay, okay. And uh, is that because of the time of the surgery? What time is of the surgery, legs of the uh, size mm -hmm. of the incision, legs of the yeah, incision. Yeah, wow. yeah. This is the point. Yeah, and you know, the, the, what is the what do you say in your pl place of practice? A uh, two-level T-lift or PLEF, uh, two cage, six screws. Well, how long would that take to do that? Four hours. Four hours. Okay. And the Three same four. surgery that we did it in a little over an hour. And the, the, and the, 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 those patients, right, how long do they stay in the hospital and one how long, week. one week and they stay, they, how long does it take them to actually ambulate? Yeah, it takes three days. Three days to day ambulate. one, they can walk to the bathroom yeah. and gradually they increase, they, they increase the time yeah. of ambulating. Uh, actually, we just looked at a study that shows only about 5% of the people after t leaf open surgery ambulate within the tw first 24 hours. But 98% of our patients after Olaf ambulate within the first 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I think that's well, that's important information. Well, any comment, uh, Dr. Spangenberger? No, no. No? Okay. I enjoyed it very much. Excellent. Really Thank you. And hey, I didn't know. <laughs> do you have any question or a comment? I don't have any questions. My comment is I'm amazed Thank that you. I can get up and walk. Mm -hmm. And I. I don't hurt. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that.